Everybody, it's Jet Central back at it again with another video with some breaking Jets news that just went down. Uh, huge trade. New York Jets trade Sheldon Richardson, defensive tackle, to the Seattle Seahawks for wide receiver Jermaine Curse and draft considerations. Now, I'm sitting here trying to check check Twitter. Just keep on, you know, I'm keep uploading the pages and whatnot, trying to figure out what draft picks we got. Or draft pick, I should say. Uh, because that is huge. That That's going to be a huge factor in this trade for the New York Jets. You know, we both, we all saw this, uh, the Jets this preseason, and we did not look good, especially on offense. So, you take a look at this trade, and we are upgrading at wide receiver. Jermaine Curse has been a pretty good wide receiver for the Seattle Seahawks. I mean, he hasn't been dominant. He hasn't been a top 10 guy, top 15 guy by any stretch. But is he coming into the Jets building as an upgrade? Yes, he is. Now, the draft picks, that is where like the sweet spot is. You know, if it's a seventh rounder, it's going to be somewhat annoying. And I would feel like we lost the trade. Um, but if it's like a fifth rounder, maybe a fourth, because I initially wanted uh, a second or third round pick for Sheldon Richardson. I mean, hell, some of these guys that were being traded like on roster bubbles, we're, get, we're getting like fifth round picks traded for him. So, you know, why couldn't Sheldon? I mean, he's a Pro Bowl uh, caliber type player. He still is an upside. So this draft pick, this draft consideration, whatever it is, is going to be the deciding factor if the Jets won the trade or if they lost the trade. Uh, in regards to Sheldon Richardson, I'm sad to see him go because I like Sheldon Richardson a lot. You know, I like how he has a mouth on him. I liked how he's been really good this this uh, preseason. Um, but as everybody knows, we're, we're solid on the defensive line. We don't have enough money to pay. I mean, we're, we have we have got to sign Leonard Williams when he's a free agent. So we have to have some money for him. Muhammad Wilkerson is already on a big contract. So the chances of the New York Jets paying three or having three huge contracts on the defensive line is slim. You know, so when you look at Sheldon Richardson, he's on his last year of his deal with two strikes, I believe, against him. I think if he gets one more strike, whether it's getting in trouble off the field or whatever it may be, a suspension will be coming. So there was a lot of talk about try, trying to trade uh, Sheldon Richardson to or to any team. I know Dallas Cowboys were one of them and the Oakland Raiders were another. But, uh, you know, in regards to Sheldon, uh, you know, I don't want to say I'm happy to see him go because in reality, I, I'm somewhat sad because I love Sheldon Richardson, but at the same time, it's almost like Mike McCadden sitting there like, uh, you know, the chances of, of us re-signing him are slim. Let's just trade him to see what we, you know, just like, let's recuperate anything that we can get. So we did get a starting caliber wide receiver. We did get whatever draft considerations is, you know, I'm hoping that's not, like I'm hoping I don't like pop up Twitter and it's gonna be like, oh, New York Jets get a 2020 sixth rounder. Like, oh god, that would that would be terrible. But um, I'm hoping it's a 2018 draft pick within the first five rounds. I I think I'm I'm hoping for a five. I'm really hoping for a fourth because you're not gonna give up Curse in a second. I mean that that's unreasonable. But I'm really hoping for a fourth round pick. That's kind of where I'm like hoping for, but I think it's going to be a fifth to sixth. So it is what it is. But at the end of the day, no matter where the pick is, it's just one more pick for the New York Jets to go up and potentially help them or increase their ammunition to go up and get a quarterback if they don't finish with that first overall spot. And assuming that Bryce Petty and Hackenberg aren't the answers because we know McCown isn't. So uh, that's the trade. I'm pumped up about it. I don't even like. I'm, I'm not like happy, but I'm not like sad. I'm just like, whoa, the New York Jets made a huge, you know, big ass trade. So I'm kind of all over the place. I I know the first thing I'm gonna do is uh, hop on YouTube and try to find some uh, Jermaine Curse uh, tape so I could start like, you know, diving into his tape a little bit, getting a feel for him. So first thing uh, that's what I'm gonna do after the after this video. So you know, overall, I can't really determine who won the trade, who lost the trade. I think the Seahawks are getting, obviously, a dominant player. You know, you're looking at that Seattle Seahawks defense. Cam Chancellor, Earl Thomas, Michael Bennett, Sheldon Richardson, Bobby Wagner. God, this defense is loaded with personnel. I mean, it's insane. Sheldon Richardson, 
God, he's going to be such a good upgrade for the Seattle Seahawks. It, the fans don't know how good of a player Richardson can be. <sighs> so that's the video. The New York Jets trade Sheldon Richardson to the Hawks for Jermaine Curse and draft considerations. When we figure out the draft considerations, I'll be posting another video. So hopefully we'll fi we find out soon. Ho hopefully it's not like halfway through the year we, we figure out because I know that happens from time to time. So that's the news. And let me know down in the comment section how you guys feel about the trade. Go Jets.